Welcome back guys. Now let's discuss about lower motor neurons. Upper motor neurons are originating from the brain. Okay, either the upper motor neurons are originating from the cortex or even the upper motor neurons can originate from the brainstem nuclei. So based on where they are originating, we have divided the upper motor neurons or we have divided the descending pathways into two types. One is the corticospinal tracts and the other are the extrapyramidal tracts. Corticospinal tracts are originating in the cortex. Extrapyramidal tracts are originating in the brainstem nuclei. Okay. Now, let's talk about the lower motor neurons now. Lower motor neurons, where they are originating? Lower motor neurons originate in the ventral horn of the spinal cord. From the beginning, we are discussing this. Okay, spinal cord, when you do the cross-section of spinal cord, we can able to see the dorsal horns as well as the ventral horns. Now, dorsal horns are sensory in nature. Ventral horns are motor in nature. So, from the ventral horn of the spinal cord, now the lower motor neurons are going to originate. Now, these lower motor neurons, where they will go? And how many types of lower motor neurons are there? That we will see now. See, these lower motor neurons are of mainly two types. Okay, both, are, both of them are originating from the ventral horn only. Now, these lower motor neurons are mainly divided into alpha motor neurons and gamma motor neurons. Okay, lower motor neurons are divided into alpha motor neurons and gamma motor neurons. These alpha motor neurons and gamma motor neurons, both of them are going to the skeletal muscle only. Okay, both of them are going to the skeletal muscle only. Now, in the skeletal muscle, you should know there are two types of fibers present. One type of fibers are called as the extrafusal fibers. Okay, one type of fibers are called as the extrafusal fibers. And the other type of fibers are called as the intrafusal fibers. Extrafusal fibers and intrafusal fibers. Now, these alpha motor neurons, they are going to the extrafusal fibers. Now, if you ask me, what are these extrafusal fibers? Sir? These extrafusal fibers are nothing but the actin and myosin. Okay, in the muscle, we all know. See, this actin and myosin, which are present over here. The one which actually contracts the muscle. Okay, this thin filament and thick filament. They are considered as the extrafusal fibers. But if you see here, in the muscle, in the skeletal muscle, there are these intrafusal fibers present. Okay, these intrafusal fibers is nothing but it's actually it's a receptor, it's a sensory receptor. Now, this intrafusal fiber is the muscle spindle. It's a muscle spindle. So, extrafusal fibers are actin and myosin and the intrafusal fibers include the muscle spindles. Now, this alpha motor neuron helps in the contraction of actin and myosin, helps in the, like, you know, movement of actin and myosin, the sliding filament theory. Okay, now, the alpha motor neurons goes to the extrafusal fibers, helps in the contraction of the extrafusal fibers so that there is muscle contraction. And this intrafusal fiber, uh, this gamma motor neurons, they will go to muscle spindles. See, these muscle spindles, they are innervated. Okay, these muscle spindles, they are innervated by the motor neurons. See, they are innervated by the sensory neurons also. We'll discuss in the next slide. These are innervated by the sensory neurons also. But they are also innervated by the motor neurons. So, what is the motor supply of this muscle spindle? The motor supply of this muscle spindle is coming from the gamma motor neuron. It helps in maintenance of the muscle tone. Okay, these muscle spindles actually they are measuring. They are all the time sensing the length of the muscle. These muscle spindles, they will measure the length of the, uh, like you know, the length of the muscles. Okay, now if you see here, now here what I am showing you, I am the, in the, in the muscle, please appreciate, in the muscle, there is this one special apparatus present. Okay, this is actually a receptor. What is this? This is a muscle spindle, which is intrafusal fiber. Now, see here, now outside, okay, outside, what do we have? Out, outside, we have the extrafusal fibers, all this, what I am pointing right now, these are the extrafusal fibers, which include the actin and myosin. See, the extrafusal fibers are innervated by alpha motor neurons. Alpha motor neurons will come here, this is the neuromuscular junction, where they innervate the extrafusal fibers, actin and myosin. But the intrafusal fiber, these fibers, they are innervated with the gamma motor neuron. The reason why I am showing you this image is, see, this inside the muscle spindles, are you able to appreciate the, even the muscle spindle, there are many, many layers present. Okay, these muscle spindles also they have a lot of, like, you know, structures. Now, they are called as, I can see, these are the structures which are present inside the muscle spindle. Now, I have opened you the muscle spindle. Now, this is what you are seeing. All these are the intrafusal fibers. Now, these intrafusal fibers are again divided into, Okay, see nuclear back fibers, these are the nuclear back fibers. See, the, all these are the nucleus, it just looks like a bag. Okay, so these are the nuclear back fibers and nuclear chain fibers. Okay, this is a nuclear chain fiber, all the nuclei arranged in the form of a chain. So, nuclear back fibers are there and nuclear chain fibers are there. Now, we have seen from the beginning we are talking all these muscle spindles are innervated by which neuron? The muscle spindles are innervated by which motor neuron? Gamma motor neuron. See, the gamma motor neurons, which are further divided into gamma 1 and gamma 2, not that important. So, the gamma motor neurons are going to where? The gamma motor neurons are going to the 
all muscle spindle like you know uh, nuclear back fibers as well as nuclear chain fibers but appreciate this nuclear back fibers they are further divided into okay nuclear back fibers are further divided into dynamic nuclear back fibers static nuclear back fibers okay nuclear back fibers are divided into dynamic nuclear back fibers and static nuclear back fibers now see what, what about the sensory i have explained you these are the receptors okay these are the receptors if it is a receptor okay it should be sensing what it's a sensing the muscle length okay the length of the muscle fiber it's sensing the length of the muscle fiber if there is any change in the muscle length that should be reported to the central nervous system so from this receptor what are the first order neurons going to the central nervous system from this receptor see these are the first order neurons going see both are the sensory neurons the sensory neurons are called as the 1a fibers okay 1a fibers and secondary fibers so 1a fibers and secondary fibers are the sensory innervation to the muscle spindles now 1a fibers see 1a it is coming from it is taking the sensory innervation from all the dynamic nuclear back fibers static nuclear back fibers as well as the nuclear chain fibers now 1a is taking from everything but the 2 okay 2 is taking only from 2 okay 2 is taking only from 2 what is that? It's a static nuclear back fiber and nuclear chain fiber. Okay, static nuclear back fiber from, from, from the nuclear chain fibers. See, the information is going via the, the group 2 fibers. Okay, group 2 are secondary fibers. So, these are the sensory as well as motor innervation. Okay, these are the sensory as well as motor innervation to the muscle spindles. Also, we have discussed what are the lower motor neurons, the two different types of lower motor neurons, alpha motor neurons as well as the gamma motor neurons. Hope the video is helpful. Thank you.